The present lot is a monumental work from 1980, a time by which the artist had isolated himself from everything he believed was superfluous to focus on his art or identity as a painter. V.S. Gaitonde's technique involved meticulous application of paint in layers with rollers or a palette knife. These introspective layers work towards creating a picture plane that retained an enigmatic essence of the hues, the light and specific forms. He only allowed paintings that he considered flawless to survive beyond the confines of his studio, not wishing to repeat himself in any of his work. Each painting by the celebrated artist emerged from a process of deep and lengthy contemplation. He made only a handful of paintings in a year, spending months perfecting each canvas in reverence to and guided by the creative process. Ever since his days as an art student at the Sir JJ School of Art, Gaitonde sought to break away from academia and art movements. He believed in learning through exposure and introspection and preferred to stand alone artistically rather than aligning with a group. As a student, his early influences included murals, stylized small format Jain paintings, Pahari and Bashawali miniatures, European artists such as Paul Klee and George Rouault and other art forms including theater, poetry and music. This is an important work which reflects the accumulation of these various influences. From the rich palette of Indian miniature painting, the geometry of artists such as clay and the various philosophical concepts he found deep resonance with. By this point in his artistic career, Gaitonde worked almost exclusively with the vertical format canvas upon which colors met textures in a seamless symphony, each distinct from the rest. Appearing across the vivid golden yellow palette in the present lot, evocative of a scorching sunrise or sunset, is a range of calligraphic and other forms. These calligraphic and hieroglyphic forms have made appearances in Gaitonde's largely monochromatic canvases since the 1960s and were likely inspired by his exposure to art and philosophy from the Far East. After all, the artist's quiet search for form and harmony in colour was at its core a philosophical exercise, influenced primarily by Zen philosophy, as signalled by the tranquil and ephemeral qualities found in his works. He was also influenced by Indian philosophers he was exposed to, such as Sri Ramana Maharishi and Jiddu Krishnamurti. Echoing the teachings of Maharishi, Gaitonde once expressed his beliefs of being and presence from which the process of painting originates as rooted in silence. This silence finds pictorial representation in the circle in his canvases. Gaitonde's works such as the present lot, in the words of curator Sandhini Podar, are containers of an avid, voracious worldview spanning the traditions of non-objective painting and Indian miniatures, Zen Buddhism, and East Asian hanging scrolls and ink paintings. This work from 1980 encapsulates his unique personal vision that transcends cultural boundaries and holds universal appeal among art connoisseurs from across the world. Take a look at this and other powerful works of art in our upcoming Spring Live and Online Auctions taking place in March 2023.